Hey guys, we're back here at San Diego Comic Con with the gang from Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, were you guys made a big announcement at your panel yesterday? Slightly. Slightly. Yeah, a certain yeah. uh, Fire Skull dude is going to show up on her show. Yeah, it's going to get hot on gonna, Why did they call him that? Fire, Fire Skull, Skull dude. dude. That was like the first name and yeah. they said to go with Ghost Rider. I but I always thought that yeah. it could have worked. Yeah. Uh, what are you thinking about? Uh, this is going to be a pretty crazy big character to introduce yeah. to your show. What are you yeah. thinking about that? Well, we're just happy that we're able to announce something yes. at Comic Con yes. instead of just like talking about nothing. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> right. So it's it's a very exciting, and and you know we just started working uh, two days ago, uh -huh. and we really have nothing else to tell you beside <laughs> that big announcement. I think we, the cool the cool thing is is that um, we you know we've moved to like a ten o'clock time slot yeah. now, yes. and that's quite a dark character anyway. So hopefully there's a bit more school. I think Ming's excited it's ten o'clock because she's thinking there might be some nudity. <laughs> <laughs> I think, you know, there'll be darker the themes. From the men. There'll be darker. Right, men. right. From the Sorry, men. I interrupted you. No, 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 no. No, I was just saying it's a big deal because, uh, I mean, Ghost Rider is a, he had movies standalone on his own. And I mean, coming into yeah. our show, I mean, that is a, a truly, truly a big deal yeah. for us. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, you know, uh, the, the show, uh, of course, there's a lot of things happening all at once. This team has seen uh, some kind of incredible things. What might they make at this point? At this point, are they, I don't want to say jaded, but are they more accepting? Or something like Ghost Rider, you think, still going to be like, okay, that that we haven't seen yet. Oh, I think they're going to be, so, Simmons is going to be shocked. I don't yeah. think she's going to be overly accepting. Fascinated, yeah. maybe, and yeah. I think Fitz will probably be kind of crazy into it, too. But, yeah, and she's going to be nervous of what his potential is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me ask a couple of character-specific questions and see what you can tell me, because Marvel has their secrets. Which is nothing. Yeah. Uh, you know, May, she went through a lot of loss last season. Yeah, uh, she did. How is she sort of processing? I mean, obviously, she is not someone who's openly emotional. So where is you she? You think? Yeah, I know. You know what? She did try. Yeah. I mean, she tried to open up, fall in love again with her ex, and was thinking about leaving S.H.I.E.L.D. for him, for love, and, you know, just bit her in the butt. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. I think uh, she's probably going to be a little bit more shut down in season four and just, in a way, um, from the high of getting rid of Hive, I, she she's probably more focused on rebuilding S.H.I.E.L.D. Mm -hmm. And Fitz and Simmons, finally together, which everyone's yes, really excited we'll about. Put them together now. Ian especially is excited about that. Get tangled in Ian, oh my God. let's put them together that. now. <laughs> but let's can happiness last? Happiness doesn't cause drama on TV, so how, how's that going to go for them after all this time as friends? I yeah. think there's enough drama on our show to, to cause, you know, conflicts and storylines that we could just be fine. Uh huh. So That's my pitch. Let, let them be happy for a while. Yeah. Or Mac could break in there somewhere. Oh, no. Whoa, oh, he's a potential. I love that. Yeah. So let's yeah. move everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of questions there. Uh, <laughs> And then, uh, <laughs> a lot of well, ways it's I 10 o'clock. It's yeah, 10 o'clock, yeah. people. Anything can happen. And then you've got this uh, mysterious new leader. Uh, anything you can say about that, Henry, and who that might be? Because oh, I always thought, you know, Mac yeah. was like, kind of being cultivated as a leader himself. That's true. Right. I That's thought right. that, too. Yeah, exactly. And he was doing a damn good job. Yeah. yeah. With, uh, with May's advice. And he was looking That's damn right. good Yeah, May, right. damn good May was helping you out a if little anything, bit. If anything, I think May should be the leader, don't you think? Oh, yeah. I think Maybe we can co-lead. It could be. Yeah, it could be. We could be like a team. I like that. I like that idea. Yeah. Plus, this season, they're introducing, it sounds like, LMDs. So are you going to have a whole, you yes. know, you've already done the duplicate thing, but now might we have some crazy duplicate stories going on? I think so. I think they're, they're going to the be, they're gone. going to be, yeah, the life model decoys will be there somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, because originally they're, you know, they're, me they're meant to be there to defend and protect. So whether they're going to be used for force for good or bad, I, I actually generally yeah. don't know. The, the beautiful <laughs> thing about <laughs> LMDs is that like, you, know, you could bring back anybody. You know what I mean? Yeah. You are Bring so back right. anybody. Right. 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 No. You know, or we could have like an army of of, of Max, which yeah. would be pretty incredible. Oh, yeah, that's a good possibility too. Well, guys, uh, Agent Shield coming back this fall. New time slot, 10 p.m. on ABC. Thanks so much, and keep it here for more from Comic Con at IGN. Bye bye. Uh, bye bye.